Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another Spider Cast episode. Every time I take a break from doing these, I always kind of, I always kind of get my mind flowing again, I get in tune with doing this. What you see in these episodes isn't like my other videos on YouTube where I act and stuff. This is, this is actually just you get me. You're getting me uh, talking to you. It's pretty much what it is. So I got to kind of retune myself to just go into conversation mode with you, the audience. Uh, this one I'm going to be talking about stuff I'm doing, stuff that's coming up, stuff I've been up to, just uh, different videos I'm doing. Uh, I haven't been talking to a whole lot of people lately. Uh, I've been kind of absent on like Facebook and everything. I got a lot of friends on there so far. Uh, more of my stuff's getting out there, thankfully. So if you're one of those people that are just like, well, he never... I always try. I always kind of find it immature and kind of stupid when you get upset that someone doesn't like your stuff all the time. I mean, I kind of get that way too. There's a couple of people that I look for. It's like, okay, did this person like this? And there's only like a few people that really matter to me that like all of the stuff I do. But if you're one of those people where I don't like everything you put on there, chances are I probably just didn't see it. Because lately, all I've been doing is doing a lot of writing for. The 2015 Metal Spider Horrorthon. It's something I always wanted to do. It was inspired by Cinemassacre's Monster Madness that James Rolfe does every year. And I love films too. I'm a big film buff. I want to review all these films and tell you guys what they meant to me growing up and why I do what I, why I do what I do. And uh, lately I've just been, I don't know, not I'm not really depressed or anything, just kind of questioning everything in my life right now uh except except for being a dad and accept my sexuality okay i i know i'm straight and i know i love being a father the things i am questioning are just just work and relationship shit which are things i guess everyone questions at some point i know i don't want to be a factory worker anymore i just it's just it just got old, I guess. I don't en really enjoy it. I've I got a taste of what it's like to do better things, and I want to go in that direction. I, I'm not just gonna up and quit my job like some sort of deadbeat dad or anything. I know I need a job to keep everything going. I need a job to keep these videos going. That's the sad truth. I don't get paid for doing these, even though my YouTube account is monetized. Um. Anyway, upcoming stuff. Of course, we got the the horrorthon. I'm going to do as many videos as I can possibly get done by Halloween. The goal is five videos. I would, if I could, I'd have a video a day, but it's just not, not feasible. The goal is five videos. I'm probably only going to get three done by how long the Chucky one took. The first one was Child's Play. And what it is is just I, I got to take still frames of every shot in each movie. Of course, I can't use footage from the movies because they all got copyrights. Except for a few of the public domain ones I'm probably going to cover later, like Night of the Living Dead. I can use the real footage. That one I want to do for the fifth one. But actually, I'm thinking I'm, I'm only going to do three of these horror-thon videos, even though I'd love to do more. I was going to do Child's Play, Evil Dead's going to be the next one, and Night of the Living Dead. It's three, three big ones I wanted to cover. Then i got to write the script for each of these and what I think about them. And I usually... When I'm reading the script aloud and recording the narration, I usually find things that are wrong with it, like too much repetitive speech or run-on sentences or just shit like that. So it, that kind of hinders the progress of these videos, too. I don't want to be redundant and stuff. Uh, technical issues. I've had... The Chucky episode should have been done a, a day or so ago, but due to my lackluster equipment and uh, really shitty editing software i mean it's it's it hasn't failed me this far yet and i've had a lot of videos in 2015 already a lot of them a lot of people have been watching them but it, for some reason this one just kept fucking up the child's play horrorthon video i don't know what it was but it took me like a full day to render one fucking video and each time it rendered it it fucked up the audio i don't know why the audio is perfectly synced and it just it kept fucking it up so I had to keep looking for reasons, keep going over it and fixing it, re-rendering the video, re-recording some dialogue. But other than that, I was fairly pleased with 
the uh, with the outcome of the video. Looking back at it, I didn't like the lighting uh, on the set. The set I got going forward of Horrorthon videos is too dark. I'm going to work on the lighting in the next one. Next one, of course, will be Evil Dead. And I want to keep those videos going. I, I think I'm going to do one of those, one or two of those a, a month. Uh, and uh, just save up a bunch of them for next Halloween so I can have a shit ton of videos ready for next Halloween. My whole problem with doing videos is that there's so much I want to do not enough time to do them so i it's it's the same concept as like uh i'm like on thanksgiving you want to eat all this food there's shit tons in front of you but it's like your eyes are are bigger than your stomach so you got you end up getting like three plates of food and you can only eat like one of them that's kind of the way it is with my videos i got so many things i want to do the connor's toy box episodes i was gonna have a long series of uh, me and connor acting out every scene in jurassic world and i only got one uh, Jurassic World video done, and now uh, you know now autumn is coming. It's October. The, the leaves have changed color. It doesn't look good outside anymore. It's not green. It's brown. I don't want to film any, you know, tropical Jurassic Park looking stuff now that it's all brown and stuff. And I don't have adequate green screen stuff to do it. And plus, it just I try to not use so much green screen when I film outside because it it takes away. From how the video looks. My videos look like shit. This one's a special effects, but they're meant to look cheesy. But I still have a level of standards when I put this stuff out and put it all together. So the J Jurassic World stuff will have to wait until next summer. I plan on having a whole whole line of videos that far. But for Halloween, I got that Godzilla costume, so now I can like add more to the Jurassic World Connor's Toy Box videos. And it doesn't mean I can't do any more Connor's Toy Box videos with. Connor in between. Uh, I wanted to do uh, the Star Wars Rebels Hero Series X-Wing Starfighter from last Christmas I was going to do, but I didn't get around to that one, so I'll do it this Christmas since Star Wars The Force Awakens come out, comes out on Christmas Day. That's pretty exciting. I, I, I'm i shitting my pants over to new Star Wars. Connor's shitting his pants over to new Star Wars too, and it's cool because he wouldn't watch the original movies before, and like the, it's like the... F the fame and popularity of the new Star Wars made him go back and watch the originals, and he appreciates them. And we just said, fuck the prequel trilogy, because they're not that good anyway. Anyway, I got a couple Game On episodes done where me and Austin play games. Not as many as I would have liked. I finally got the Power Rangers done one done, and that took me a year to do because of all the comic book stuff. And I tried to make it more epic as epic as I could with the comic book cutscenes, I really thought that was going to be the last one me and him were going to do because he's, his shift at our factory is always changing. So we're never in the same place at the same time. We never have the same days off. It's hard to get together with him and play video games and stuff. Uh, but I am doing, a, for Mr. Braden Boyce, I have to mention him because he's, he's been patient with me, but I am doing a... Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis, a game on video, and that's just going to be me and my son, and there's going to be a lot of narration, but I I wanted to make it better because he's, he's had to wait for it so long, so I actually uh, played some some of the more common ones, too. I'm just going to make a Jurassic Park video game video. There's going to be a couple on the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, the Genesis. I'm covering most of the common ones that most kids would have uh, known in the 90s that we, we all, we've all would have seen but the core of it will be the Sega Genesis one because that's that was my favorite Jurassic Park game um that's I guess that's all I got spider cast episodes aren't going to be as frequent as they were when I started these last Christmas the goal is to have 100 done and then I was going to quit I don't know I like talking about stuff but these are just these are just kind of extra. They take up extra time when I want to do more important things. But there's always new things coming out. There's more geeky shit I always want to talk about that I get excited for or that I get pissed off about, and I like talking about it with you all. They're easy videos to do. I don't have to put much effort into them. and They're kind of like clickbait. They bring viewers into my YouTube channel. But at the same time, there's videos that I put a lot of effort into that have a lot of special effects, a lot of writing that I would like to focus more of my energy on. But who, who knows? 
Oh yeah, for for Christmas though, we're gonna do another Metal Spider uh, year in review where I look back at some of the highlights of all the videos I done, kind of like what I did last year. Yeah, the 2014 ones. I want to do one of those this year. Try not to make it as long as I normally do. I make long videos. I tr try to cut it down to at least 10, 15 minutes, but it doesn't always work out in my favor. <laughs> um, possibly, possibly a Christmas game on video. I don't know what video game I would review. I was thinking about doing Back to the Future on Nintendo since... We just had October 21st, 2015, the year that Doc Brown and Marty McFly came into the future to set things right <laughs> in, in 1985. I kind of fumbled the ball on that. I wanted to do a video on that recently, and time ran out. But I don't know. That's just a possibility. I wanted to do a Halloween game on episode with that. With all the stuff I want to do, I'd rather focus on the movie reviews right now and just the movie reviews and the Jurassic Park game on video are the two I'm going to focus on. I was going to try and do Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on the NES, and I was going to have my whole family involved. And uh, my friend, Mr. Rich Peterson from Bordello of Horror, I wanted him to come out and play it with me. He, he said he'd come to my house sometime. He did a TV interview with me recently, and I'm going to be on Madison Channel CW57. Uh, in a few weeks, I think. That was really exciting. I, I, I was very thankful of, of those guys for them to do that. I, I, I haven't, I've never gotten that kind of recognition. I've never been on television for anything. So that's exciting. And hopefully this all, hopefully it all leads somewhere. Uh, I want to keep doing artwork for them. That's another thing, art requests. I'm, 2016 will be the year that I stop doing art requests, I think. And unless it's something I really get decently paid for. I mean, I've had a few big art requests this year that really paid off. I made a lot of money off of them. But I got bigger things I want to do in life. You know, it's kind of like working at the factory. If I keep just doing random art requests and self-portraits for people, I'm just never going to get anywhere. It doesn't mean that I hated doing them. But it's just I'm, I want something more, I guess. Which everyone does. I mean, I'm. I want to fulfill my destiny that I realized when I was six years old when I started drawing. To be, I want to become something that's larger than life, someone who's iconic, someone that inspires other people to do great things with their talents, and just to not to not give up on them. Like, I mean, I don't even have to be worldwide famous for that. I mean, YouTube celebrities have proven. How far they can go with, with their popularity. They might not be known worldwide. Some people might not have heard of them, but they've still inspired other people to do great things. Uh, for me, it's Mr. Pat Contry and Mr. James Rolfe and uh, a lot of other people on YouTube. Uh, uh, Boogie, I like his, his YouTube channel. There's, there's just a lot of people that aren't worldwide known that have inspired me, and if I can inspire someone, then part of my job's done and a lot of it too is just my son will have a record of uh everything I did when I was this young when he was this young he can look back and remember good times he doesn't have trouble remembering it because there's so much that has gotten lost since I was a kid that I don't remember and I don't have records of of course I was a fat kid too so I really don't like remembering that time period of my life that's most of the pictures from when I was younger where I was really fat, I got rid of them, threw them in a fire and burnt them because I don't, I, I hated it. I lost all the weight. And I'm happy with my weight now. I have pictures of myself as a kid because there was a time when I was thin as a child when I was my son's age and then I got really fat and pretty much a borderline obese and I lost all that weight. I was 320 pounds when I was 16 and 17 and lost all of it in like a summer or two. I'm getting off track here, though. Anyway, I, I thought I'd give you a heads up on uh, what's up with me lately and the stuff you can look forward to in the future of 2015 here. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys I hope you guys like the first installment of Metal Spider Horrorthon, the Child's Play episode. Uh, there's going to be more coming. Hopefully, I can get five done. I should be working on it right now, but I just decided to do a couple of these videos, but. Hopefully you guys stay tuned and uh, uh, 
watch one of my other videos. I'll see you all next time. <laughs>